Hi everyone! I wanted to come back to you today as uh, I wanted to speak a little bit about the heart and about healing the heart. As you know that February is the month of, uh, you know, a global Valentine's and so it's about love in all its forms and it's not maybe necessarily connected to a partner. It could be for you about more self-love. Well, there's also been a few, um, also being um, my birthday on Monday the 24th, I wanted to share the paintings that I've been, uh, that I worked on for the month of February because February every year I always focus on bringing in more love and it can be um, more universal love and peace in the world and uh, so that's very much something that I always focus on as well so I just wanted to give you an up close personal um, um, peek of the um, beautiful paintings that I've been doing especially if you're needing um, some heart healing or a focus a focal point um, to revive yourself after going through some kind of tragedy from the past. Uh, I know for the Dreamtime messages I was dealing, I was um, letting you guys know that sometimes when we've gone through something it is very um, difficult to have a strong grasp of an individual of your individual personality rising and so especially if we re if we've received a lot of hurt from the past any kind of relationship or it could be some trauma that we went through or abuse so this is what these uh, little paintings can help us to find our center within our heart where we can get some more healing. Um, so the first painting I'm going to be talking about is the Australian Crimson Rosellas, which is a medium parrot, a very popular one within Australia. And so with this one, it's speaking about, um, it's, so we've got the leaves of the from the tree and the heart, the central heart, um, where two people are meeting or it's it can also be based on the love that you're wanting to bring out more and where you're wanting to focus that love so you could imagine this to be you and you could imagine that to be the source of love that you're thinking of it could be within a partner it could be the source of love that you're wanting to grow within your job so um, there's always something that we want to put our love in and to make that grow. So this is what this painting is about. And also, especially if you're wanting in particular to find out more about certain secrets to do with this particular um, love uh, that you're wanting to focus on. It could be to do with another person or it could be to do with work, um, where you have your main source of love. So think about that. You've got the golden glow around you, which is protecting you as you're trying to search for the secrets that you can find that is to do with your focus on this love. So that's what the Crimson Rosella is about. And this uh, is teaching some kind of lesson for you. So that's what this painting can help you and so you can go into a meditation, a daily meditation or it could be a weekly one or you could have that somewhere in your office or your home where you can just quietly contemplate and think or use it as a source of focus. Now that's the one, um, just do a search on my store Crimson Rosella Secrets Revealed, that's what that one is called. So this one is um, Central American hummingbirds called the juvenile volcano hummingbirds so this one is about it's about the source of your love again okay and it's coming out so obviously it can be to do with another person or it can be to do also with you and where you want to place that love that you're wanting to grow so 
that hummingbirds helps us to bring some more joy and to also maintain the balance and creation of life within that um, source of love that you want to grow so it's about having more joy um, to bring more joy into this area of love for you that you want to focus on so the juvenile um, little hummingbirds and um, they are uh, they live in like elfin forest which is really tiny trees really above uh, sea level about 800 meters or something and they're a very small bird so um, that's what the hummingbirds helps us with um, to maintain the joy within our source of love uh, of life um, that is connected to creation so that's what that one can help with and as I said to do with the crimson rosella before you can also use this um, in your meditation or use it as a source of um, put it in a predominant area that you can keep thinking and visualizing and seeing this within your life um, so that's what the painting can help you with let's move on to the last one that I want to show you so I'm pretty excited about showing you these paintings because I really love doing the heart paintings um, so this one is called uh, free um, confident heart free as a bird with the blue wrens so this one is about maintaining the connection to the Sun and to the wind and to the trees and having the main maintaining that connection helps us to become free within the heart without restrictions so that's what this painting is about um, becoming free of restriction within the heart so it may be a period of letting go um, so again it could be the two um, to do with two people or it could be to do with you and that source of love that you're wanting to bring in and this um, having an unrestricted heart for this one in particular because of the because of the colors can help you become more confident so that's what this one is about and um, so it's confident heart blue wren and in this one I've painted two male blue wren birds so you can use this one like the others with your meditation daily or weekly meditation or you can put it in an area where you can be at eye level and uh, eye level like this um, looking at it through quiet contemplation also open eye meditation if you're familiar with that but if you want to get one of these beautiful paintings to help you heal your heart um, I will also include a free meditation that you can do with it um, to help you and so the more you do that the more you can actually the more you're creating a sacred space for yourself to heal and let go within and that's what the sacred structure helps you with so I've been pretty excited to show you the show you guys these paintings and to tell you a lot more about them so um, I'll just show you again these ones um, because obviously the colors that you pick are important too and uh, and if you want to grab one of these ones I will also include the pocket dream time book for free where you can read up more also about the colors and the symbols in that little book so I hope you enjoyed this little presentation of these little heart healing paintings and um, and get some benefit in helping you to heal your heart and let go of the past so I hope you have a wonderful week and bye for now and pop onto my website um, if you want to grab one of these and just um, put in the comment section um, free book and um, and I will include your free book and your little meditation with the painting and you'll be all set to go flying through the th flying through the, the year of 2020 bye for now